cloud nine guys cloud nine check this out can you see it look very carefully right there Welcome to another episode of Tag Team Recoveries. Well, really, we are just wrapping up right now. But uh, we had a pretty good day. Uh, I had a friend of mine come down, Mark. Good friend of mine that I've known since uh, elementary school. Come and hunt with Daniel and myself. So um, I'm taking him back into a site that we've been hunting. Digging some carbine bullets and stuff out of. A little bit of colonial stuff. So uh, he hooked up with us. And uh, we're going to get right into the videos here shortly. So uh, again, thank you everybody for coming in and watching, and we'll see you guys at the end of the video. All right, guys. Well, we got one of our first signals today, and um, Mark got the first one there. What's up, buddy? Okay. All right, what you got going on there, man? Uh, first dig of the day. Nice little round ball. All right, man. Looks like 69 caliber, man. Nice, man. Good start. Very first signal, first target. Don't get no better than that. All right, buddy. One the bigger and better? That's it. All right. Well, let's get some more. All right, guys. My first signal for the morning. Uh, not down that deep. Uh, got me a nice little hit, probably about 32, 33 or so. Unfortunately, it is going to be a busted button. And that is a back to a small cuff button. Most likely an uh, eagle cuff. I can see where the face fell off of it. You can see see the inside of the button and how clean that button would have been. But where they've done some logging and stuff here, and you can see actually still see a piece of the button laying down in there. That is a shame. But anyhow, but that is the back of it. Alrighty. Well, let's see what else we can get into. And uh we will go from there. Uh Daniel's got himself a pistol bullet. And then uh, Morris got that musket ball he dug a little while ago. So we'll catch up with them shortly and see what's going on. Alrighty, guys. See you all at the next one. Alright, guys. Next signal for me here. Um, only down just an inch or two. Uh, looks like a nice little two hole button there. Might be four hole. No, four hole button. Okay. Um, couple nice little buttons there but that one's chipped off on the end there just a little bit but we'll definitely take that Let's see if we can't get a couple more out of here yeah all righty yep see what else we can get into we'll see you the next one all right guys caught up with daniel and uh he got a few targets since last seen him what's going on buddy not a whole lot all right all right how are we doing this morning pretty good all right show me what you got there my man Started off the morning, two little third ringers, 58 cal. And then got another pistol bullet here. Nice, nice. I can't tell. It almost looks like it might be a Maynard. What that looks like. I almost bet that's a 37 caliber Maynard. Sweet. And ended up picking up a eagle button. Face was busted off of it. Found that five inches down deeper than the back here nice tom back button oh, a nice large one right there it's about 24 millimeters and then picked up two little native american artifacts here sweet man sweet cool man and we off to a good start this morning i like it man i like it congrats that is cool all righty guys well we're gonna catch up with mark see what he's got going on i haven't picked up much anything else but we're gonna see what else we can get into here so, but anyhow, you know, we got this nice little clearing right here behind us, so we're going to swing through it for a little bit, see what else we can get into. He picked up his buttons right back here, so we're going to work through there for a little bit and see what else we can get into, guys. All right, and we'll see y'all the next one. All right, guys, my next target here. Uh, not down that deep, no more, probably about maybe four or five inches, but I just picked up a nice three ringer, nice drop one. Get over here, we can see it real good. Yep, definitely dropped. That looks like 
the Harper's Ferry style, which would be the 1855 Williams, is what that is right there. Nice drop from there. I like that. But yeah, a lot of people call these Harper Ferries. But it's an 1855 Williams. And it's got the high base ring down at the bottom. Machine grooved. But that is a cool bullet right there. Alright. Well, let's see what else we can get into there. Well, that's a good one. I like that. You can actually see the casting on the nose right there. Check that out. Cool. All right, guys. Well, Dan just done picked up another flat button. So we're going to see what else we can get into here. All right, guys. See you on the next one. All right, guys. Next target here. Um, I had to chase this one a lot, around a little bit. A lot of iron in here. But picked up another bullet. And this one is going to be a Spencer carbine. Now, she has been fired, it looks like. But that is cool though. You can tell by the rings on it and the base. That's a Spencer, solid base. But that is cool. Yeah, I'm only about probably about 10, 15 feet away from where I just did that 1855 Williams. But that is cool. Alright. Well, let's see what else we get into, guys. We'll see y'all at the next one. Yeah, guys, this one was driving me crazy here, man. I had a lot of iron right here, but I could hear a good, good pitch in there going one direction, and um, you know it was just kind of nulling out. But then I go another direction and and still hear a good pitch. So I went ahead, and dug it anyway, and chased it around, pulled a couple nails and stuff out, but laying right in the middle of it there, another cavalry bullet, 52 caliber sharps. Look at that, man. That is nice. Nice drop sharps carbine. Let's see here. Yep, got a small cavity on the bottom. And you actually still see some of the black residue from the uh, the powder from the cartridge that was on it. But that is sweet. Nice drop bullet there. But that is a sharp. So we've got three variances now. So I got uh, the 1855 Williams, got the Spencer carbine, and then the sharps here. So that is cool three consecutive different bullets there all right well let's see what else we can do we'll see you guys at the next hole there you guys well i am still in the middle of this little iron patch that i got right here and i got a signal and there's actually part of a tree stump that's right here it's been cut down and i had to go up underneath the tree and you can see where I had to dig up under the roots and stuff right here. Got another bullet. Check that out. That's going to be a 58 caliber Williams cleaner. And that is going to be type 3. Still got this uh, wash on the bottom of it or plunger. Nice drop one right there. But that is sweet. All right. Well, we're getting a nice little mix of lead right now. So hopefully there's a, another button or something in here. But we'll see what we can do. All right. We'll see you on the next one. All right, guys. This next one here, man, was driving me crazy. It was up underneath a root. And I couldn't get this thing cut. I had to dig my hand. And it kept falling down in the hole. But I ended up picking up a three-ringer. 58 caliber. And then she dropped, which is a good thing. Most everything in here is, except for that Spencer. But that is cool. And try to find some uh, buttons, though, in here. And hopefully we will. But anyhow, another another thing to live for the pouch. All righty. See you on the next one. <laughs> all right guys i am stoked oh this is so cool man i'm just i'm hunting along through all this stuff it's been cut up and mulched up and stuff and then uh just getting you know getting a few targets here and there 
And man, I just got me a nice 72 hit. And it was real shallow, man. Not even down, you know, three, four inches. You know, there is a colonial spot here, but there's also Civil War stuff contaminated into here too. Cloud nine, guys, cloud nine. Check this out. Can you see it? Look very carefully right there. Check that out. You know what that is? I do. That is a quarter cut of Spanish silver right there. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is going to be so nice. Yep. Look at that. Oh, oh my goodness. Yep. Look at that, guys. Oh. That is going to be a quarter cut uh, cross pistarine right there. Probably mid 1700s. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, my goodness. That has made my day. Look at that. That is awesome. Well, I've already called more and Daniel and let them know. Um,. Uh, Daniel's picked up a couple more bullets. I think Mark's picked up some miscellaneous brass and stuff. But this is too cool. This is too cool. Alrighty, guys. That's what it's about right there. That is it. Good looking sucker right there, ain't it? Alrighty, guys. We'll see y'all in a few. Yeehaw! Alright, guys. Got some more silver here. We're not quite sure what it is. But Mark just popped this up and check that out, guys. That looks like maybe some type of shoe buckle piece or something. It's some kind of wreath for sure. But that is silver. And that is beautiful, man. Early colonial piece there. Well, maybe the rest of it is around there, buddy. Maybe. You know? Do we go back Let's get it? it. Let's go get it, man. But that is cool. Now that's two pieces of silver guys just right here we're we're only about 20 feet apart so well, we'll see what else we get into and we'll catch you guys on the next one high five brother silver buddy all right let's get it all right guys my next signal here uh i ended up digging a piece of brass i did not film it and just dug it right over here uh and then about two feet away dug another piece and i got a feeling what i got here is a rains guide check that out this was the other piece that i dug prior to that and then i just dug this piece here but i'm pretty sure that is probably a range guy to a wagon so that is pretty cool nice chunk of brass right there so we're digging that and a cut coin here just a few feet away so let's see what else we get into and uh hopefully some more goodies in here Alrighty guys, we'll see you on the next one. Hey right, guys, uh, Mark called me over here. So he got something that looks pretty good in the hole. What's going on, Bubba? Yeah, what you got, man? Looks like a button there. Mm, sweet. Oh, still got the shank on it. Yeah. Nice goes. Yeah, anything on the face of it? Can no. you tell? No. Looks like it might just be a tom bat, yeah, but that is cool. So that a date with the cut coin and the um, uh, silver piece of shoe buckle you found too. Yeah, but it's um, a tom bat. That's cool. We got a stand up shank on it. Nice, 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 bud. Cool. Put it there. Good job. Yeah, just got to work slow through that iron, buddy. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. But just gotta work slow and that's what you come up with cool alrighty guys well we're still digging and we'll, let's get some more and we'll see y'all shortly alrighty well guess who just dug another button just walked up on mark he said come on over here he said he's got another coat size button all right bubba what you got going on like a livery button 
you know, sportsman style. Yeah, what you got on that thing, man? Flip that's that thing forwards a little bit. There you go. Look at that, buck. man. See the rack on him? Yep. The big old deer head on it. A nice sportsman button right there. Still got the shank on the back of it. Sweet, buddy. Yeah, that thing won't deep at all, oh, man. Yeah. That is cool, man. That is cool. Congrats, man. Nice sportsman button. Been a while. Yeah, man. What'd you end up with, bub? Daniel just showed up here with us. I told y'all earlier he was off digging some stuff. Went out and found a little hill that had a decent pocket of bullets on it. Just dug 11. 11 of them over there. Got one Spencer and the rest are all three ringers. Sweet, man. Sweet. All right, bud. Congrats. Yeah. Boom. Congrats. Boom. Boom. All righty, guys. Well, we're still digging some targets. We'll see what else we get into. And uh, we'll see y'all shortly. All right, guys. Well, we're wrapping up a little bit here. Uh, Mark's got to hit the road. Uh, Daniel and I are going to hunt for a little bit longer, but this is what uh, we gotten so far. Uh, Daniel ended up with, I think, 15 bullets total, a bunch of three ringers. And then he's got a couple of pistol balls in here. He got a Maynard right there, which is probably his best find. Uh, got a base to Weems cleaner. Got a couple fire bullets. Got a nice carved bullet right here. That's real nice top of the through ringer. Uh, fortunately, eagle button is busted up. We got one eagle coat there. Got a couple tomback buttons. We got a small cuff button. And a couple broken points and part of a knife. Uh, Mark ended up with part of a stirrup, bottom piece of that. A big old uh, pewter lid to some kind of jug or something. And then he ended up with a musket ball. We got this beautiful livery button, or uh, sportsman button rather. Real nice coat size there. It's about 24 millimeter. Got an elk or a deer on it. But that is really cool. I like that. And then he got a tomback button, cuff. And then his piece of silver right there from a shoe buckle. And then I ended up with uh, five bullets, all different. Weems cleaner, type three, three ringer, a Sharps, 1855 Williams, and a Spencer carbine. Got a back to a cuff button. Found the reins guide. Got the two hole button. And then my best find for the day. A nice piece of cut silver. So not bad at all for a little bit of time that we had hunting today. Alrighty guys, well we are wrapping it up here. Certainly appreciate you guys coming in and watching. And then I got to hunt with my best friend here. I hadn't hunted with him for a long time. Good hanging out with you as always, buddy. You know what? Um, and then my main man right here. Got it done on the lead. So we had a lot of fun today. Beautiful day out here today. So we will see y'all again, and as always, thanks to all the subscribers, everybody coming in and watching, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Thank you so much.